Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Evening Prayer. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. On the eve of the Ascension, tomorrow's Ascension, are you all excited? And here we are on the eve, <coughs> hearing some reading from Revelation and from the Book of Kings. And uh, just so glad to be praying with you all tonight. If you have a prayer book, we'll be starting on page 116 with a confession. Seek him who made the Pleiades and Orion and turns deep darkness into the morning and darkens the day into night, who calls for the waters of the sea and pours them out upon the surface of the earth. The Lord is his name. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. On page 117. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. O gracious light can be found on page S59 in your hymnal. O oh, gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O oh, Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices. O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. <clears throat> the psalm appointed for tonight is Psalm 68, verses 1 through 20. So that's page 676 in your prayer book. Psalm 68, page 676. Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. Let those who hate him flee before him. Let them vanish like smoke when the wind drives it away. As the wax melts at the fire, so let the wicked perish at the presence of God. But let the righteous be glad and rejoice before God. Let them also be merry and joyful. Sing to God, sing praises to his name. Exalt him who rides upon the heavens. Yahweh is his name. Rejoice before him. Father of orphans, defender of widows, God in his holy habitation. God gives the solitary a home and brings forth prisoners into freedom, but the rebels shall live in dry places. O oh God, when you went forth before your people, when you marched through the wilderness, the earth shook and the skies poured down rain at the presence of God, the God of Sinai, at the presence of God, the God of Israel. You sent a gracious rain, O God, upon your inheritance. You refreshed the land when it was weary. Your people found their home in it. In your goodness, O God, you have made provision for the poor. The Lord gave the word, Great was the company of women who bore the tidings. Kings with their armies are fleeing away. 
The women at home are dividing the spoils. Though you lingered among the sheepfolds, you shall be like a dove whose wings are covered with silver, whose feathers are like green gold. When the Almighty scattered kings, it was like snow falling in Zalmon. O mighty mountain, O hill of Bashan, O rugged mountain, O hill of Bashan. Why do you look with envy, O rugged mountain, at the hill which God chose for his resting place? Truly the Lord will dwell there forever. The chariots of God are 20,000, even thousands of thousands. The Lord comes in holiness from Sinai. You have gone up on high and led captivity captive. You have received gifts even from your enemies, that the Lord God might dwell among them. Blessed be the Lord day by day, the God of our salvation, who bears our burdens. He is our God, the God of our salvation. God is the Lord by whom we escape death. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Tonight, since it's the Feast of a Holy Day, uh, we're going to read two readings and have two canticles, the Magnificat and the Nuc Dimittis. <clears throat> The first reading is from 2 Kings, chapter 21. Now when the Lord was about to take Elijah up to heaven by a whirlwind, Elijah and Elisha were on their way from Gilgal. Elijah said to Elisha, Stay here, for the Lord has sent me as far as Bethel. But Elisha said, As the Lord lives, and as you yourself live, I will not leave you. So they went down to Bethel. The company of prophets who were in Bethel came out to Elisha and said to him, Do you know that today the Lord will take your master away from you? And he said, Yes, I know. Keep silent. Elijah said to him, Elisha, stay here, for the Lord has sent me to Jericho. But he said, As the Lord lives, and as you yourself live, I will not leave you. So they came to Jericho. The company of prophets who were at Jericho drew near to Elisha and said to him, Do you know that today the Lord will take your master away from you? And he answered, Yes, I know. Be silent. Then Elisha said to him, Stay here, for the Lord has sent me to the Jordan. But he said, As the Lord lives and as you yourself live, I will not leave you. So the two men went on. Fifty men of the company of prophets also went and stood at some distance from them as both were standing by the Jordan. Then Elijah took his mantle and rolled it up and struck the water. The water was parted to the one side and to the other until the two of them crossed on dry ground. When they had crossed, Elijah said to Elisha, tell me what I may do for you because I am taken from you. Elisha said, please let me inherit a double share of your spirit. He responded, you have asked a hard thing, yet if you see me as I am being taken from you, it will be granted you. If not, it will not. As they continued walking and talking, a chariot of fire, a chariot and horses of fire separated the two of them, and Elijah ascended into a whirlwind into heaven. Elisha kept watching and crying out, Father, Father, the chariots of Israel and its horsemen. But when he could no longer see him, he grasped his own clothes and tore them in two pieces. He picked up the mantle of Elijah that had fallen from him and went back and stood at the bank of the Jordan. He took the mantle of Elijah that had fallen from him and struck the water, saying, Where is the Lord, the God of Elijah? When he had struck the water, the water was parted to the one side and to the other, and Elisha went over. When the company of prophets who were at Jericho saw him at a distance, they declared, The spirit of Elijah rests on Elisha. They came to meet him and bowed to the ground before him. <clears throat> Here ends the reading. The Song of Mary can be found on page S185. Let's sing the antiphon that happens at the very beginning and a couple times at the end. <coughs> <coughs> 
He that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name. Let's try that. He that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Saviour. For he hath regarded the lowliness of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that fear him throughout all generations. He hath showed strength with his arm, he hath scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He hath put down the mighty from their seat, and hath exalted the humble and meek. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he hath sent empty away. He, remembering his mercy, hath opened his servant Israel, as he promised to our forefathers, Abraham and his seed forever. He that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. He that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name. <coughs> <coughs> Our second reading is from the book of Revelation. Hold on to your hats. Then I saw in the right hand of the one seated on the throne a scroll written on the inside and on the back, sealed with seven seals. And I saw a mighty angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the scroll and break its seals? And no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll or to look onto it. And I began to weep bitterly because, I f because no one was found worthy to open the scroll or to look into it. Then one of the elders said to me, Do not weep. See, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has, been, has conquered so that he can open the scroll and its seven seals. Then I saw between the throne and the four living creatures and among the elders a lamb standing as if it had been slaughtered having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent out into all the earth. He went and took the scroll from the right hand of the one who was seated on the throne. <clears throat> when he had taken the scroll, the four living creatures and the 24 elders fell before the lamb, each holding a harp and golden bowls full of incense, which are the prayers of the saints. They sing a new song. You are worthy to take the scroll and to open its seals. For you were slaughtered, and by your blood you ransomed for God saints from every tribe and language and people and nation. You have made them to be a kingdom and priests serving our God, and they will reign on earth. Then I looked, and I heard the voice of many angels surrounding the throne, 
and the living creatures and the elders. They numbered myriads of myriads and thousands of thousands, singing with full voice, worthy is the lamb that was slaughtered to receive power and wealth and wisdom and might and honor and glory and blessing. Then I heard every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth and in the sea and all that is in them singing to the one seated on the throne and to the lamb be blessing and honor and glory and might forever and ever. And the four living creatures said, Amen. And the elders fell down and worshiped. Here ends the reading. <clears throat> Let's sing the Song of Simeon, the Nuctimidus, found on page S196. <clears throat> Mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people. Let's try that. Mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people. Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light, to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people. The Apostles' Creed on page 96. <clears throat> I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful we entreat you, O Lord, that your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. We entreat you, O Lord, that we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. We entreat you, O Lord, that there may be peace to your church and to the whole world. 
we entreat you, O Lord, that we may depart this life in your faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. We entreat you, O Lord, that we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all your saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. We entreat you, O Lord. <clears throat> Almighty God, whose blessed Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, ascended far above all heavens, that he might fill all things. Mercifully give us faith to perceive that, according to his promise, he abides with his church on earth, even to the end of the ages, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, in glory everlasting. Amen. Lord Jesus, stay with us, for evening is at hand and the day is past. Be our companion in the way, kindle our hearts and awaken hope, that we may know you as you are revealed in scripture and the breaking of the bread. Grant this for the sake of your love. Amen. O God, you manifest in your servants the signs of your presence. Send forth upon us the spirit of love, that in companionship with one another, your abounding grace may increase among us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Okay. For our hymn tonight, um, after that Revelation reading, I wanted to share a song with you called Revelation Song. You may or may not know this. It's not in any of the hymnals um, that we have, but I thought it might be nice. So I just want to invite you to Pray along with me if you know it, sing along. If not, uh, you may pick it up pretty quickly and feel free to hum along or sing along. I think the dogs are gonna start barking here in just one moment. So I'll give that a quick breath and then I'll sing Revelation song.
mention of your name. Thanks. Thanks for trying something new. Just like that Revelation song says. They sang a new song. Let's allow a moment here for our own personal intercessions, however you feel moved to pray tonight. We'll just allow some silence and some room for your own prayers. Please, let us pray. Loving God, as we prepare for your ascension into the heavens, Lord, we pray that you are ever in our hearts as you continue to watch over us. Lord, as we look at the day that has passed, we pray that you allow us to see you in everyone we encounter, in every situation we face. Lord, and give us an awareness to learn where we need to see you more. For all these prayers we say, Lord in your mercy, hear our prayer. Amen. A prayer of St. Chrysostom on the bottom of page 102. <clears throat> Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. As you have, and you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world <coughs> knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, as always, it's a pleasure and a joy to be able to pray with you, especially on the eve of the Ascension tonight. Thank you all for joining me. Thank you for praying. Keep praying. Keep close to God. Hold to God's unchanging hand. It's the only constant in our world. Um, Y'all hang in there. Be blessed. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye.